All right, this email comes from uh, Gregory Henderson. <clears throat> Dear Aunt May, how do you move on without your family when you have become the black sheep? Well, Gregory, you, you, you got to just say, F*** them sheep. That's what you got to do. F*** the sheep. Who want to be a damn sheep anyway? What the f*** they do with sheep? They count them to fall asleep. They f*** get sheared for sweaters. And they get eaten. Nobody give a f*** about sheep beyond that. They don't give a shit about sheep. Sheep don't do shit. You see, what you want to be is you want to be a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's right. Be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Because you ain't never seen a wolf give a f*** about what a sheep got to say. I dare sheep to tell a wolf what the f*** his opinion is about something. The wolf ain't even going to be done hearing that m*** before he eat his ass. So you tell me what you want to be. You want to be like the rest of the sheep or you want to be a damn wolf? This email comes from Jarvis Anthony White. Hey, Aunt May. Were you bitten by a radio at the Fox? Because you're looking foxy fine out in these streets. How can your boy get in with a fine vixen like yourself? Uh... A couple things here, Jarvis. First of all, you just gotta be nasty. And I'm talking nastier than cucumber-flavored Gatorade. That's how nasty you gotta be with me. You know, because you, you gotta be ready to go down first and foremost. You're going down like Young Jock featuring Mary J. Blige. That's how long you're going down. You better bring some scuba gear. Second of all, your game gotta be better, because this shit is corny. What, you foxy fine bitch? What black exploitation Valentine's Day card did you learn how to talk to women from, boy? Is it an old uncle whispering in your ear with the type? What the hell is this? The foxy fine bitch? And the only thing dried in your game is my vagina after reading that. You, are you in the are you in the f DeLorean with Shaft? Oh my lord, what's next? Uh, uh, next question comes from a Renee Will. Aunt May, I've been married for 12 years. My husband's been talking about poly relationships. He even threw out the idea of him getting another female with a good job will help finances. Is it okay for him to get a second wife? Uh, yeah, get a second wife if he want a second life. You know, I don't know how they do it after they die. So, like, if he think he could get another wife after he's dead, that's fine. It's death to, to do y'all part, not death. Do us all, three of us, everybody in the damn church parties. It's just y'all two. What the hell? I'm old school. I mean, that's why I stayed single after my husband got murdered. Because, you know, I ain't want that kind of commitment. But let me tell you something. If if he want another woman, if he getting bored, you need to buy your ass some more wigs. You need to buy a bunch of wigs, and, and you need to be a different bitch every day. And start sucking that from different angles. That way, it'll feel like he's getting head from an abundance of women. And really lean into being these different women. Be mad about something completely different every day. If one day you lactose intolerant, the next day you love milk, okay? You, you be a different bitch every goddamn day, all right? And also, if, if he's just talking about the finances, everybody know men make more than women in the workplace. So you just really y'all need another husband. All right, our next question is from Los Narcoticos. What the, the f*** is that name? Boy, if you don't get a f regular name, you sound like a Taco Bell drug lord value meal. What the f***? His question is, do you miss your husband, Ben? Do you think he would have been accepting of Peter's infatuation with Mary Jane? I tell you what, yeah, I do miss my husband, Ben. Um, I was missing Ben when he was alive, too, though. You know, because that b stopped working around 57, and that what the fuck I need it. I need me some real dick. Well, I got with him because they used to call him Big Ben. Like the clock. <laughs> like the clock with no L. That's a cock. <laughs> so, but look, and he used to lay it down, but he got a little bit older and shit, you know, he died before Cialis came out, but that's another story. Uh, as far as the Mary Jane shit, I don't know, because, you know, that little girl been coming over here with that same wig on since she was like 11. And <laughs> she been smelling the same since she was like 11. And Ben ain't really like smells and shit. So if he knew Peter was out here tripping like that over, he might he might have said something. But Ben always said that boy was a little bitch. So he always said that. He was right. Our next question is from Jay the Dreads. Um, who was your first rebound after Uncle Ben was overnight shipped to Heaven's Gates? First of all, boy, he wasn't my damn uncle. He's my husband. And, and, and don't disrespect my husband's soul like that. Because you don't know him. You don't know him. If you knew him, you would have known he went to hell. And second of all, rebound? You mean rebound? I was Dennis Rodman after that died. I was out here getting it. What you mean? I probably f***ing know that. The next question is from a Patron member named What's Good. Uh, his question is, <clears throat> is two inches too much to handle for sexual satisfaction? Um, it may be if you're a lesbian and you're scissoring. You know, because that's a really, that's a good size clit. That's a nice size clitoris, but, huh? Oh, that's supposed to be, he's, are you talking about a dick? Because if you're talking about a dick, then <laughs> you got a problem. I'm sorry, that's, that ain't too, what? Two inch, what? Look, if you, if you ants, not ants like me, like Aunt May. I mean, if you literally insect ants, because then maybe it's too much for them to handle. But two inches, boy, you, you, that ain't the only qualified. That ain't legally a dick, is it? That ain't no dick. All right, this question is from Wayne the Professor. Uh... How do you feel about Uncle Ben having hoes on the side while being married to you? How do I feel about... Boy, Ben ain't had no hoes. He was square. I had the hoes. Like, I had to drop my hoes if, if, for, if, because this square ass wanted to wipe me up and shit. Like, he ain't never had no hoes with me. Like, <laughs> oh boy, crazy. Our next question is from Elijah Tucker. 
I got a question, maybe a two-parter. Aunt May, um, when you gonna die, or are you immortal? Okay, I got a two-part answer for you. Um, I'll die when your daddy stop calling me and when you lose your virginity. That is my answer. So it looks like never is when I'm gonna die. What's wrong with you, Elijah? F you. Come on, when I'm gonna die. F you better be hoping you ain't gonna die. Well, I might spin the block on your ass tonight. You know what? That's probably my nephew Peter Burner account. Peter, find your ass a f life and get out of my business. Next question is from Spiderfan34. Aunt May, do you like Spider-Man? I mean, I... I guess he, I don't, I, how did I give a fuck? He don't do nothing for me, shit, what the fuck? Like, he's just a pajama swing around the city. Like, it's all kinds of shit like that in New York. So I don't, I really don't give a fuck. You know, to me, it's kind of like the president. The president don't really do nothing for me personally, so I don't really give a, give a fuck. Actually, you know what, I take that back. Kennedy did come into uh, the strip club one time and tipped the shit out of me uh, one time when I was dancing back in the day. So, yeah, he, I, 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 I say, yeah, oh, shit, and Clinton, too. So Clinton tipped me, too. damn, Kennedy and Clinton, two presidents, and, and, and I didn't get lap dances to him, shit. One of them, I can't remember which one. And both of them got that same damn chin. Uh, but hold up, you, you know. But actually, uh, Spider Man don't ain't never coming none of my shifts and tip me. I don't give a f what he, what he, I don't give a f That's what it is. The next question is from Big Tex. Uh, number one, who is a better lover, Nosferatu, as I believe you are immortal, or Elvis? Number two, is the wig held on with Velcro or Gorilla Glue? Let me start with question number one. Um, I've had relations with one vampire my whole life. And he wasn't a real vampire. He just cosplaying. And he, he he bit my uh nether region too much when he went down. So now I don't I wouldn't f a real vampire if he's anything like the real vampires. Cause that shit was annoying as f I had to beat his ass. Second of all, uh when I met Elvis, he was fat Elvis. And by the time he got undressed, he was tired and he passed out. So we didn't have relations either. Um he he was uh he smelled like funyuns. Before funyuns came out, mind you. Uh second of all, this my hell. I ain't got no gorilla glue holding my shit. The next question is from Nota Robato. Uh, the question is, do you support using robots as tools for delivering food and strapping us, <coughs> cough, I mean them, with assault rifles so the cute little robots can shoot any person that tries to rob them? First of all, I think all technology is the devil. All technology is Satan itself, and it all belongs in hell. So as far as robots delivering us food with guns, all I can say is, long as the f food gets here on time and they don't eat my f fries, they, or, or whatever the hell I ordered out the bag. Because sometimes you be getting your food and drink your drinking shit. I don't like that Uber Eats shit. They be eating your food, okay? So if y'all, if you go shoot yourself after, y after I find out you done ate my food, get the gun. Go ahead and keep it. That's why I'm fine with a robot holding a gun. Long as it knows it needs to shoot itself after it done ate my food. The next question is from Cobb Metric. <clears throat> Aunt May, do you come dust? Do I come dust? What, do you swallow dust? Is that why you want to know? Are you about to swallow some dust, son? If not, you need to shut the f*** up. All right. Our next question is from a Dr. Esquire who sent in a f thesis of questions. The f*** is wrong with you, doctor? Uh, first question is, why is Peter's grown ass still living at home? Um, I was hoping you could tell me, doctor. I don't know why the f*** he's still in my house. I've been trying to kick the m*** out for the last 15 years. Talking about he a junior in college, looking 48 years goddamn old. This m*** old as f***. Talking about he in college. That don't make no goddamn sense to me. Second question. How are you able to afford a two-story, three-bedroom brownstone in Manhattan? One of y'all gotta be pushing weight to afford such a nice place. Um, well, I moved back in here, like, when civilization arrived on Earth. So I, I'm grandfathered in. So uh, so I, my rent ain't is stable, and it really ain't increased. Uh, the, the other part is, you know, I used to sell a lot of ass. I was a whole hoe out here. You know, I, you know, I invented hoeing. You know, so, this shit, I've been getting to this money with a motherfucker with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ben might have did his thing, but you know, like, I always had my shit going. You know what I'm saying? I slowed down when I was with Ben. I ain't gonna lie. I slowed down. But this this ocean was still in motion. Thirdly, who won the battle? Jay-Z or Nas? I'm from Queens. You know I'm finna say Nas. Why would you ask a dumbass question like that? Our next question is from Kentrell Winston. Two questions. Do you have any advice on breaking into a stripper career? And if I give you $40, would you teach me some moves? Absolutely, Contrell. Uh, my first advice that I give every new stripper coming in and, and they feel like they're doing something wrong or they being shy is get over that shit ASAP because you was doing this shit for free two weeks ago. You was at some cookout or some club and somebody played back that ass up and you backed your little ass up on somebody's meat and you grinded into it and you gave somebody a lap dance for free. So you've been doing this shit for free, but now you're getting paid for it. Doesn't that make more sense to me? 
And for $40, I'll teach you a few moves. Absolutely. Uh, one of my favorite moves is called the 300. And you use this on like a busier night. And so this is when a stripper is doing her, st her set on stage. And you come on the stage and you kick her ass in the chest off the stage. And you start your set. The next question is from a an Alan Anderson. Um, Aunt May, can you, May, can you roast my picture? Um, okay, go on. Pull it up, I guess. With you ain't really too much to roast here. I mean, you, you look like you, you, you can, you're you good at coding or, or writing computer programs and also have an R&B mixtape coming out that you, you, you wrote all the, the lyrics to and, and produced it in your bedroom. Um, it, I mean, you look like a, a secret identity or something. Uh, you look like you dropped out of Hogwarts and said, F*** that wizard uh, You look like an undercover boss at Denny's. Uh, you look like uh, you wear jean jackets to the beach with no shirt. Uh, you look like you say thanks anyway instead of no thank you. Uh, you look like you wanted to be a fireman when you grew up, but you failed the exam, so you took up accounting. But accounting is boring as f so to add some more excitement to your life, you become a substitute youth pastor on the side. But secretly, you don't believe in God like that, so you buy the clean version of rap albums on purpose to make TikTok dance routines too with the kids. And you also own a, a pair of hard bottom loafers that you like to wear with boot cut jeans with a cuff in them. But other than that, I, I really don't think I got nothing to roast. Them. Right, now our next question is from Pale Ham Fam 2018. It's a five part of question. What the fuck? Y'all don't think I got shit to do? All right, the first question is, how old were you when you got your cherry pop? How the fuck am I supposed to know that? That was centuries ago. The hell am I supposed to remember some shit like that? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, the second question is, what's the secret to your immortality? I'm um, in it obvious. I be snatching my souls. Like Shane Soon. I snatch souls. Y'all don't play Mortal Kombat. All right, question number three. Uh, is stripping all you know? Or are there other ways you make money? I make money a lot of different ways. I got several accounts. I've been getting to this money for a long time. But the oldest profession... In the world is hoeing, and I'm one of the oldest people in the world. So what you think? I be how what you think I know? Question number four: What do you think about Spider Man? Why y'all keep asking me about this boy? Like, I, wh why the f like? I think a man swinging around in some long ass drawers with a mask over his face is it's, it's silly. That's what I think it is. I really don't have no thoughts on it. I just think the shit is silly. Which hero villain would would you want to mess with those long ass breasts? Oh, I mean, that's a good question. Um, I seen on the news a couple weeks ago, it was just one venom with this long-ass tongue. I think it was a venom. Venom. Um, yes. Yes. I would like, I want the long-ass tongue to lick all, lick all over me. I like that. I like that a lot. And as far as heroes, uh, I thought I might have to go with, with, with that one. What's the, the big, uh, Avenger one? The, the Hulk. I think, because, <laughs> you know, I think he a grower, not a shower. The next question is from Andre. Uh, and he wants to know which hole should he celebrate his birthday with? Uh... I always celebrate with whoever's gonna wear their birthday suit with me. That's what I like. That's how I like to celebrate. Next question is from Hyperion. When you throw that dusty ass back, do them saggy titties slap you in the face? Um, if you know anything about saggy titties, which I see you don't, you know they can't slap me in the face because they laying on the floor. Saggy titty, if you got a real titty, a real good ass saggy titty, long ass titty like mine, them are resting comfortably on the ground when you're getting hit from the back. They ain't Slapping you in the face, that's perky titties shit. They, they feel like your, your titties are uh, resting always on the ground. I have to pick these titties up for them to get swung around like that. And I ain't doing that. Like, if I'm, because if I'm on all fours, you know, like, my titties hanging off the side of the bed. Like, like they laying, like, the top of the titty laying on the bed and, and they drape over the bed onto the floor. The nipple touching the floor. The next question is from Lil King, and he wants to know who my top five favorite rappers are. What? Is you stupid? Why would you ask me some stupid shit like that? My top five favorite rappers. Well, you know goddamn well I'm from Queens. So you know it's LL Cool J. So you know it's Prodigy. So you know it's 50 Cent. So you know it's Nicki Minaj. And you know it's Nas. Quit playing with me, boy. All right, so we got another question here from Jay Blaze. Aunt May, I'm trying to be a whole advanced freak in the streets like you. But I have tig old biddies. Any tip for keeping them out of the way while I'm hoeing? Well, it depends on what your activity is. See, my titties are, 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 are long. So... When I'm doing something that might get them in the way, like, you know, sometimes I might be lifting something, and you know, you're supposed to squat to lift. I, so I, if I know I'm going to be doing that, I tie my titties around my back and, and, and then go on about my activities. Now, if you say your titties ain't long enough to tie around your back and they just big and in the way, I suggest trying the rolling pin method. That's when you put your, you, you, you need your titties down towards your belly. Knead them down. And then you, you put an extra shirt halfway up over your stomach onto the titty part with a collar like laying on the titty. And this going to be under your clothes so nobody going to know. Or you can put them into your, to your leggings uh, or anything like that. You knead them down and you, you get the, the, the band of the leggings to hold the titty down. All right? So now you, you, your titty's still there, but they strapped down so they ain't in your way. The next question is from Sun Kid. You gonna let Peter have the house when you go? Hell no, I'm gonna burn this shit down when I die. He ain't getting shit from me. Not a goddamn thing. The next question is from Taj Hill Winston. 
Uh, not gonna lie, I wouldn't let Peter talk to me like that. But you getting up there in age, so you gotta let shit slide. I don't let shit slide. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't let shit slide on motherfuckers. And Peter know that. That's why he don't never let shit go too far. Hell wrong with you. Next question is from Damien Yeager. He wants to know my body count. Uh, you talking about I done murdered or people I you gotta be more specific. The next question is from Brandon Williams. What did y'all used to call Jesus when y'all was hanging out? Um, what's this? Oh, this supposed to be like an old joke, Brandon? You, you trying to say I used to hang with, with fucking Jesus? I, I don't know what I, I used to I would call Jesus when I was saying, because I'm not that f old. I, you saying I was here before Christ? Are you saying that, Brandon? Well, how about this, Brandon? How about I send you to Jesus and you tell me what you call him? And the next question is from Anderson Floyd. Hey, I got a question. Why don't you like that J. Cole evil twin looking named H. Van? Um, I don't like no goddamn body. I don't like your ass. That answer your question? 